Hi, this is Camille Kuo. So in this demonstration, I wouldn't call it a tutorial because it's more like a layer by layer explanation of a general idea of how I create things. So the first step, I always lay down uh, the silhouette of the character I'm going to do, and, and of course the pose, in a really rough shape. And I'll use this brush, and this brush is just a, a Photoshop default brush, and I just turn on the transfer. So because I also have pen pressure on, so it gives me this feel that you can see. And you can always uh, just choose the same brush as a uh, eraser and erase back. It's more like an idea of a sculpting that you block in a huge form and then you erase, you take it out, or you can add in. So now I have that uh, general character shape blocked in. I just add in the background uh, to get the mood set up first. And I just choose this brush. Well, it's actually a Photoshop default brush with some adjustment. So it's pretty much just like this. First block in, and the same thing. I can take it out the form by just erasing it. So it gives this very rough feeling. I can block the layer. and light it up with warm color. And you can tilt your brush so it's uh, actually smaller in shape but wider in other direction. You can continue to work on that and uh, give it more detail in strokes. For the further background, set it in a cool color. What should be, uh, lots of times should be cool color. The foreground object is gonna be a slightly red. So I'm going to add um, a bit darker tone red. And you can alt click, just uh, drop to choose the color. One always have this string, really fine string of snow. That's a really rough demonstration, but they get the, you can get the idea of, of how I do things. So the technique I use in this piece is I uh, just erase uh, the place that I feel it should be lighter because since my uh, layer underneath the character is, is bright. If I want to add in more, some more color, I can just uh, go back to the brush. So you can tell I'm switching between uh, the eraser and the brush a lot. Of course, for the detail, you use a smaller size of brush. So I basically just uh, pin over the area that I'm going to uh, put colors in and erase them out. And I can also use smudge tool. to move away things. So for the highlight, I'm just really erasing. Erase harder to indicate an uh, object.
And for now, since I have uh, the darker tone in Solin's layer, so I'm gonna I can block it. So I'm going to add in some saturated color only on the dark tone. The further background's cool color and the closer background foreground object should be a warm color. So I'm gonna add it saturated uh, red, kind of a little bit purple though. Well, maybe I don't need to block in layer. Then I'm going to add this color and dark as a shadow, actually. You want to do that so it's a complementary color will pop out the lighting tone, different lighting value. By the way, if you want your main focus set at your, around the head, you always add a lot of detail to enhance it. So I can add in more lines and strokes around this area. I'm gonna block layer again. Adding some blue from the background. Where I think it's uh it's gradually falling back. So you want to indicate clearly the torso is in front of the farm. You can use just lasso tool to select it out and then paint. You can unlock it since I'm going to add in colors, uh, add in paint. Since I have the most of the lighting separate in another layer, I mean I have my shadow, just uh, most of the shadow in this layer, in one layer, so I'm just, I can add the light individually just underneath that shadow layer so it will not affect it, the, my shadow layer. So you can see, that's the color layer underneath. For the meadow, it's gonna be really cool. And for the skin, it's gonna be kind of red in general. Give it blue again. Yeah, since my lighting is uh, shooting from the top to the bottom, so the bottom lighting is always gonna be slightly darker than the top. Well, if I want, uh, just to be in case, I can always add a new layer on the top of my shadow layer, shadow tone, to adding some highlights. And the highlight's gonna be really cool color. Next I'm going to add some uh, smoke in the background. Smoke and the dust. If you tilt the brush, give it some uh, texture. This brush I just made from the Photoshop default brushes. So this is after pretty much overall character painting and the smoke applied in the background. So the story is set in the northern rain. So how can you lack of snow texture and particles? So here's the brush I made. Um, you can find them in Gombro tutorial pack as well as the particles. Just create another new layer, adding some frozen icy texture, and then another layer just to add in visual particle texture effect in front. For this layer, I feel the uh, bottom right hand corner is kind of empty, so I add in a wolf as well as the cape of the character. Here are the final step of adjustment. I would do a uh, Control Alt Shift E to flatten everything to a new layer. I mean, that's the step I always do at the end. And I'm going to blur, Gaussian blur. Maybe add the amount. Maybe do the amount like this. I'm not gonna set an overlay and adjust some opacity. For the reason of that, it will straighten your contrast and saturation. So at this point, I want to enhance the light more. So I control Alt with Shift E. I flatten everything just one, and set my brush mode into overlay and choose a light blue. 
and just gently brush in the color. And yeah, don't forget to add in some foreground flying snow particles. Shift Ctrl Alt 8, create a, a layer that's flattened everything, go to filter, sharpen, smart sharpen, slightly turn on the radius, and just adding another very final lighting adjustment. It's like the same thing, I would uh, Ctrl Shift Alt E, create a new layer, and then and now just uh, do a quick hockey shift control U, desaturate everything into gray. And just go to Gaussian blur, just some of my opacity, and oh, set it in an overlay. The blur is not enough. So yeah, like this. The bottom seems too dark, so I'll just erase it. So yeah, that's pretty much it.